I'm in Madisonville, Kentucky. And you know whenever I'm out and about in a new place, I've never been here before, I wanna find somewhere to eat that's unique to that place. So I have chosen Mandarin House, Chinese buffet. Let's see if the buffet's open. Let's, let's see what it's like in general. It's kind of hard to get a shot of everything. Uh, this is my first plate of food. The, the, the employees have to serve it up for you. Mm, almost got it. Oh, this meat on the sticks, pretty damn good. The chicken and broccoli is typical chicken and broccoli. Mm. Now I'm gonna try um, the stuffed uh, sea thing. It's okay, it's, it tastes like typical stuffed uh, sea animals, you know, like stuffed crab. Where I'm sitting at, I'm kind of like in the corner, um, and uh, there's gravel behind me. It's it's a pretty cool looking place, but uh, I really don't want to get caught filming. All right, decided to try some sushi from the place. I have no idea what any of this is called, but what's more important is how it tastes. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm guessing a spicy tuna. Yeah, it's spicy, it tastes like tuna. Got a, kind of a bizarre texture. Let's try and some of everything roll. Typical Chinese buffet sushi, I mean, it's nothing to write home about. All right, let's eat some fried fish with chopsticks. That's pretty tasty. Well, mean, it's okay. All right, we've got the bathroom. You know, I mean, that's pretty interesting. Oh, very, uh, um, it's kind of a weird toilet seat. That's an interesting uh, fake sky. When it comes to Chinese buffets, there's always the, the proud few that rise to the top of the ranks, the ones that you really remember. And anytime you're, you're near them or in that town, that's, that's uh, definitely where you gotta go eat and you look forward to it. And this place is definitely not it. It doesn't suck. It's just uh, places like this are a dime a dozen. And, and it, you know, a lot of them, there's there's that one dish that they have that's better than the rest you know like the the place on this and you know this part of town has better chicken and broccoli than the place you know down the road from there they've got better general souls or, or you know place on the east side of town has better meat on a stick or, or you know it's but th this was just uh there was nothing in here really wowed me and they committed what is to me personally the the worst sin of all at a chinese buffet and that's having too big of a dessert table because i don't i don't like dessert really or sweets i got to really be in the mood for it and i i think that they could have used half of that buffet table for dessert and, and then filled the rest with more actual food but that's just me i know most people love sweets i, I don't I, I i'm not a big sweet eater i was really excited whenever i walked in because all the buffets had food on them uh, the last time I ate at a Chinese buffet during this pandemic, they were only had like maybe half the, the, uh, the, the buffet tables open and they were still charging full price, which I think is a total bunch of bullshit. But unfortunately, this is a world we live in now and it sucks. You can't even, you serve yourself your own food, but what are you going to do? If I'm ever in Madisonville, Kentucky again, am I going to eat here? No, definitely not. But I'm, I'm not bashing. It's just it's definitely, it's just nothing special for me to remember, other than the fact I'm gonna remember it's nothing special.